This is Mrs. Reister with lesson 5.1, example four. And before we get started on example four, let's talk about um, a couple new steps that we are going to add into percent problems where you are given a percent increase or decrease and we have to apply that to find a new amount. So our first step is to find the decimal form of the percent that we're given. So whether it's a percent increase or decrease, it's still a percent. We're gonna find that decimal form. And then we're going to multiply it by the original amount to find the change. So how much did that original amount change? Whether that's an increase, so whether it increases by that much or decreases, we're still gonna find how much it changes. And then to find the new amount, step two, we are going to add or subtract it. Keyword there is there or. We're gonna add or subtract it from the original amount. So we would add it in a situation in which it is a percent increase. So something is increasing by a certain percentage. We're gonna find what that percent amount is and then add it to it because it's increasing by it. And if it was a percent decrease, if something was decreasing by a certain percent, we would then subtract that from the original amount. So let's take a look at example four and do some of these problems following these steps. Part A, a shoe sales associate earned $300 in August. In September, she earned 8% more than she did in August. How much did she earn in September? So again, step one, we are going to take our 8% and we are going to write that as a decimal. So 8% as a decimal becomes 0 0.08. We are going to multiply that by 300, which is 24. And then because the problem says that she earned 8% more than she did in August, that tells us that this is a percent increase. So we're going to add that to the original amount. So 24 plus 300 is 324. So this shoe sales associate earned $324 in the month of September. And now in part B, we have the problem, if 48 eggs are used in the cafeteria today, but the number is expected to be used, or but the number expected to be used tomorrow is 40% less than that. How many eggs are expected to be used tomorrow? So, Again, step one, we've got our 40%. We are going to write that out as a decimal, which is 0 0.40 or 0.4. And 0.4 times that original amount of 48, it equals 19.2. But now we're talking about eggs here. So I don't know about you, but I have never been able to see two tenths of an egg. So in this situation, in the context here, we are actually going to just be referring to 19 eggs. So I'm just gonna write 19 because we are rounding it, knowing that we can't have two tenths of an egg. And now we need to determine is this a percent increase or decrease because that determines what we do with the 19. And since it says that they expect to use less eggs, that's that 40% less than that. That keyword is less than right there. So because of that, we're gonna take 48 and we're gonna take away those 19 eggs. So we've got 29 eggs that they can expect to be used tomorrow. Hopefully this uh, can clarify 
how to use a percent increase or decrease in a situation like these, please make sure that you take note and uh, refer to this often, these step one and step two, this section up here that I've just circled, 